Okay, now with safe mode enabled, let's take a look at volume snapshots. There's my host, got that snapshot. Like before, I have this menu that I can do a copy. So we'll, first we'll make a volume copy. Same as before, works no problem. I'm gonna go back here and we're gonna do the destroy command. It's gonna put it into that recycle bin, if you will, that destroyed bucket by right, taking it out of volume snapshots but keeping it on the array uh, with an extended timer. First thing we'll notice here different from the standard is uh, I've extended that timer to seven days. So when I enabled safe mode, asked for seven days eradication timer, that snapshot now will live in that eradication for the seven days before it's fully removed from the array. I can still recover and I still have the choice to do the eradication fully to get it off there manually. But again, safe mode's enabled and this is blocked. So with safe mode enabled, I have that seven day extension, have the eradication button, but I can't fully uh, do that motion. I can restore it though, bring it right back into volume snapshots. So it's deleted before it's time, I'm protected. Now let's take a look at the volume copy. Just like with the snapshot, I have the ability to destroy this. Again, as you probably guess it, when I go through the destroy command, it's gonna go into the destroyed volumes bucket, the recycle bin, if you will. I have that extended timer, right? This is really protecting the entire array. So seven days extension. I have the eradication button, but when I go through with it, I am met with the same error, eradication is disabled. So anything's deleted manually before it's time, it's gonna sit in that bucket for the remainder of that period that you set the eradication timer. Now let's take a look at protection groups. So these are the automated snapshot schedules uh, that we can set on the volumes. I have one set here already for uh, create a snapshot every 12 hours, so two a day, keep those for one day, and then an extended for one snapshot from that set, set for three more days. So I have two from day one and then one for three more days. Now with safe mode enabled, you also can adjust the schedule, right? So you can't defeat your snapshot automatic schedule. So as an example, I'm gonna take this out to 20 hours, so less than two a day. And I'm gonna be met with that error that you can't reduce the schedule frequency. I can't make less snapshots uh, than what I've asked in the previous policy. So we'll take that back to 12 hours or take that to six hours. Um, and you're gonna be able to add four snapshots now because I've increased the frequency, I am able to do that. So I can have more snapshots, I can't have less. So now I have six, I'm gonna retain those, you know, every six, I'm gonna retain those for one day. So you, what if I take that frequency out to one week? I am gonna be able to do that because again, it's increasing it. I'm keeping a snapshot every six hours for one week, and then I'm extending it for three more days to retain one of those snapshots. But now that I've taken it to weeks, as you see, I can't reduce it. So I can't take it down to one day like it was before because I've already extended it out to one week. So you can extend it on your own. You can't reduce the frequency. Once you set that frequency, it can only go up from there. As you can see, cannot shorten it to days even though that's what I had previously. So I could take this out to two weeks, three weeks more, um, but I can't take it down to days, minutes, seconds. So those snapshots, that I'm asking you to take will be there as I expect them to. So the same with the retention here. Um, I can retain, retain two of those snapshots per day. I had one before, now I can do two. Two of those uh, daily ones. So that extended of three more days. But now that I've set that, I can take it down to one day, right? Again, decreasing the frequency. I think, I think we're getting it here. But I um, just really want to drive it home. Increase, can't decrease. If I want to take that down, I'm going to have to contact customer support and adjust safe mode. So there's a way out. And now that I've adjusted that safe mode, I can go in and reduce the policy down to what I wanted again. Um, after which I'm happy, go ahead and get safe mode back and enabled and all the rules that we went through apply. So hopefully you can see how pure array with safe mode enabled can help you protect against insider threats, ransomware, uh, and just ensure that your data is protected and available as you expected and there when you need it. Thank you for watching.